Government's made it pretty clear that it sees entrepreneurship as a way out of the economic mess that the country's in. But how to do that? Well, Peter Cullum runs the Centre for Entrepreneurship at Cass Business School. Peter, has the government got it right? Um, I think maybe conceptually, I think uh, small business is the lifeblood of the UK economy, and I think nobody necessarily dispute that. Um, but, but I suppose one of my concerns would be that anybody or everybody can be an entrepreneur. Uh, and and I'd, I'd certainly question that. I think there are some absolutely basic skills that entrepreneurs need in order to have some, some chance of success. I mean, the, the mere facts are that 95% of all startup businesses fail, which is a bit scary. That's a good reason why not to be an entrepreneur, maybe. But, but clearly the government are encouraging um, entrepreneurship, and I applaud that. But, but I do believe there are some, some fundamentals that we need to get right in order to, to, to get a greater success with, with, with those who, who are fledgling entrepreneurs. You're sounding quite sceptical, and yet you set up the, this £10 million fund here at CAS to fund the startups that come from students at this business school. There seems almost a contradiction there. Well, I hope it's not too much of a mismatch. Um, the, the, the rationale was very much um, bright people. Um, in a business environment, business school environment, I believe we've got a great chance of making, uh, making it to become successful entrepreneurs. The big problem, and it's very much uh, a problem today as it was three or four years ago, is getting, getting capital for new startups. And my view was if we can make a fund available for, for bright young people, MBA graduates, who've got a really smart business plan, that this isn't donations, that, that this is real investment into smart people with very, very compelling business plans. Um, and we, we've had some, some notable successes already within, within the school. So what makes your fund different to any other venture or small-scale private equity fund? Um, our, our ambition for returns are much more modest. Uh, and again, I, I emphasise it's not a donation and we're not incinerating money. It, it is about in, investing in smart people but not, not with the rigour uh, that you would associate with a private equity house who are looking for that 20, 30, 40% return on capital. We, we have a much more modest and we think more rational view of the returns in order, in order to give these young people a really good, a really good chance of making a success in, in, that, in that business. Yeah. So tell me about some of the businesses, the startups that you've funded. Um, well, well there, there, are, there are a great variety. Um, so some very IT driven, very, very, uh, in, in, my, in my personal view, very innovative. One is cloud business, a uh, young, young guy by the name of James Butler uh, came to us with a, an idea that, that was probably in, in many respects uh, ahead of its time. Um, we'd all been talking about cloud, but he had a very, very compelling um, business plan in place. Um, and I guess I was... I was really impressed with the, the enthusiasm, the commitment, but also the really, really smart way that he thought through the threats, the, the limitations, as well as the various positive aspects of this business plan. Um, and we're only into 18 months of his particular program, and already he's way ahead of his budget numbers and looking to, to employ more staff, um, which again I think is very good from a governmental point of view, small businesses employing more staff, growing significantly. Um, and again, James, uh, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see an exit strategy, I guess, developing over the next sort of two or three years uh, in order for that business to effectively marry up with a much larger organisation because cloud is a, is a huge phenomenon in, in in, in world business. So if you had one piece of advice to entrepreneurs, what would it be? Um, I, I think it is about thinking through all aspects, d d doing, doing the inevitable um, sort of SWOT analysis um, and being realistic. It's a tough world out there, really, really tough. And looking at the, the threats, but also having this business plan that actually um, has the rigour to withstand those, those challenges. And be brave, be brave. Peter Cullen, thank you very much. Okay.